Hey everybody, Brad here, wanting to do uh, a quick little screencast for you guys. Uh, I've been getting a couple of comments about a uh, message that I posted a while back on Twitter about trying to figure out how to get uh, our family's uh, music and podcasts and videos and everything kind of in one underneath one fell uh, media server. Um, and I dealt with this many hours and played with many different things, screwed up a lot, and had to reload a lot. And this is kind of what I've come up with. It's not the perfect solution, uh, but with iTunes 9, um, you really can get pretty close to what I was looking to do, which is essentially we have all of our music on a, a different box altogether than um, my wife and I's laptops. And so we're trying to figure out what's the best way to do that. Uh, I think we got it figured out. And so what you're actually looking at here with the blue background is actually that um, that box for, in our case, is a Mac Mini, but assuming you have iTunes 9, you should be able to do this on a Windows machine too. Um, what we did is that we copied all of our music, not only iTunes approved music, but MP3s and everything else underneath the music folder here in um, on the Mac Mini. And so we have everything loaded on there. Now if you look at iTunes, we added everything to this library um, and actually um, you know, made sure that we could view everything on here from all of our music. We removed duplications. We had some of that before. And um, from the podcast standpoint, we basically just wiped everything. Um, we don't need to worry about that. But what we ended up doing is that we actually turned on a new feature on iTunes 9 called uh, home sharing. Now with home sharing you, you have to all be logged into the same account on the different systems but I'll show you how it works on a client. So if you can imagine what you're seeing here this is kind of the server and um, the server houses all of our music. Well we wanted to be able to obviously when we come home and we're working um, from our laptops to listen to music and so we turn on that feature and if I come over to my iTunes so now you're actually looking at my client or my laptop uh, you can see over here in iTunes there's a Garland servers uh, shared and if I click on it like I have I'm actually seeing its contents so I can you know come in here and play you know whatever I want to play and it'll actually you know play that sort of music and so um, that's been really great now um, what I can do at any point is if there's a song that I want to bring over that will actually sync with my iPhone because I sync locally on my client um, I could just take, uh, let's see, what's a song that I need? I'll just put old Beyonce on there. You could take that song, drag it over, and now it'll start, as you can see, copying and put it on my drive, um, which is really nice. So essentially we look at our, our laptops now as kind of their own playlists in a way. Uh, what music do you want on your laptop locally that will also sync to your iPhone? Um, the upside for us too is that um, you know Jenny, my wife, has a lot of podcasts she listened to. I listen to some, uh, but we really don't listen to the same ones. And so, because we're keeping it local now, uh, we can subscribe to the different podcasts that we listen to, and it won't muddy up the media server anymore. Uh, previously, we tried to map to a uh, to the media drive where we're all accessing the same thing, but that's where the duplications came. That's where all the extra podcasts came from, and so it got yucky. Um, now. So this is nice in itself. You can kind of do the copy back and forth, but I'm also obviously looking for ways to synchronize this as much as I possibly can. Um, it's not a perfect solution, but it's close, and I'll show you what I did. If I go back to the server, uh, bring this back up, uh, what I've actually done here is that if you click on, um, let's see, where is it? If you click on, in my case, now what I'm on the server looking at the laptop's music. So this shows kind of the inverse. Now what ends up happening for us is that we will go to Amazon or we'll go to iTunes and we'll download music from our laptops. Well, we need that contents to obviously get back to um, the servers to keep all of our music centralized again. So what we're doing is that we're actually um, on the server, what you could do is that you can go to each one of the systems that you're sharing with, click on settings here at the bottom, and then automatically transfer new purchases from Brad Garland's music. And so we include everything from movies, TV shows, audio. Now we don't do applications because we have very different applications on our iPhones. But everything else that we are doing, um, we add that. So anytime I go to iTunes and add a song, it automatically adds into here. And it keeps that centralized music server um, 
going. Now the only thing that is tricky is basically uh, we have to tell each other, uh, hey, you know, I just downloaded some new music and it should be out there on, if I go back to my client, uh, you can go underneath, you know, Garland server, figure out the new tracks that you downloaded and transfer those over to her. In a perfect solution, obviously this would all stay synchronized, but that's the part that is the manual is copying that stuff over. And so this is what's as close as we've gotten so far to synchronize, uh, synchronizing kind of our uh, music where we could put it on a centralized server. We don't have to have the entire library on our filling up our hard drives on the laptops. Um, and we can just copy and paste it over the songs that we want. So a couple of people asked me. I figured I'd do a quick video on it. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. If you have questions, though, feel free to let me know and um, I'll answer them for you. So this is, you know, easily take me five or six hours to figure out. So if it um, takes you about five or ten to go through this and save you the time, then um, I'm okay with that. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you later.